Ultra Video Powder T Oi, I want to make this video pertaining to this net is 300 megabits per second wireless and PCI adapter that I purchased at a local computer store. Model number WF2118 is 802.11bgn WPA2 supports Windows up to Windows 8 and Linux. Now we'll see if it win, works on Windows 10. It comes with two, it's just a basic, it's a PCI, as you can see it's a PCI, and it's got two antenna connections, and it comes with two 5 decibel antennas, and I just need it because I just need a basic wireless in adapter, and I bought it for an older computer that was running Vista, but I thought I'd try to install it on Windows 10, it came with this, you know, this and then also a NetIS wireless PCI PCIe adapter quick installation guide and a driver CD now I've got my Windows 10 machine over here uh, let me let me move so the light gets on there and then what we're gonna here let me move it maybe I'll move this a little bit there we go now I just have to unscrew this bracket and then what we'll do is it dry it fell off so we're just going to quickly install this card and let's see if I can do it with the camera in one hand and we'll just move this I probably need to to do some cable management but you know it's not a big deal. All right, so it slides right there. It's flush. Oh, let me take. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. I'll just leave it like that. All right, now it's installed. It's PCI, so it's the white slots. And now we can connect what the two antennas really quick. I could have had this all pre install but we'll just freestyle it we'll just make sure we'll just all right a few more turns and then we'll boot up this computer and we'll see if Windows 10 detects this PCI card I'm hoping it does it doesn't support Windows 10 but I've noticed with older devices that Windows 10 actually supports and detects them a lot more often than you think. And then my monitor is up here, so now we'll just go up to here. And I've got my mouse and a keyboard. And we'll just, for the remainder of the video perhaps, well I don't want Linux, I don't want Ubuntu. So what we'll do is we'll Okay, we'll just go back down here, and I forgot. You can dual boot Linux and Windows 10, but uh, one time I did that, and then the the master boot record got screwed up, and I had to reinstall Linux, and that pissed me off because... So now I just manually... This is actually my data recovery... Believe it or not, this is my data recovery machine, but that but I thought I'd use this just to to show you how to install the Netis PCI wireless card. Alright, so we'll boot up into Windows 10. And I will know pretty quick whether or not it detects it or not. And I can even test it for you. All right. Okay, there we go. And I'll be right back. I'm back. This machine is logging in.
It's a quad, excuse me, it's an old dual core. That's all I need right now for recovery. It's got two hard drives. One has Linux, Ubuntu 14, well, 14 and Windows 10. I use, believe it or not, I use Linux for data recovery because I've noticed it works pretty good actually. And it will automatically mount Mac hard drives, Windows hard drives, and Linux hard drives. So that's why, another reason why I use Linux for data recovery. Oh no, okay now quickly, let's see if it, it detects this Wi-Fi device. We can go down here and we can go into network. We can see if it detected it or not. I think it probably did. Come on. All right. So we can go to the change adapter settings. And there it is. It's not connected, but I'm pretty sure it loaded the driver. So I'm just going to I'm going to disconnect the Ethernet cable now. Uh, I don't want updates go away. It'll error out because I'm not connected. All right, so now we should be able to connect, disconnect, and show available networks. And there should be one available. There we go. So we, I can, whoops, I don't know why it disappeared. Ah, this stupid Windows updates. Let's go back, let's try it again. Oh, here, let's go over here. All right. We'll connect. We'll connect to one I know I'm, I've connected to before. So that'll make it quick. All right, I think it's connected. Now let's just test it real quick. So Windows 10 does support this Netis wireless card and we can go to Google or something. Really quick, we can just go to Google. There you go. So Windows 10 detected this Netis Wi-Fi card. And we can and it works out of the box, pun intended. So the net is 300 megabits per second wireless and PCI adapter. It's got two five decibel antennas. And it supports Windows 8, but I just installed it on Windows 10. And it works right out of the box. So the net is 300 megabits per second wireless and PCI adapter. Model number don't. WF 2118 Windows 10 installation. Adios.